Hey guys and dolls, welcome back. Today's look is going to be a very fun and super easy summer updo. I'm a really big fan of putting my hair up when it's sweaty and I was wearing my hair up like this in a previous video and a lot of you guys were like, oh my god, please, please, please do a tutorial on that hair. So I decided I'd share it with you. So I'm starting out with some pretty sick bedhead. Um, I was going to show you guys how I did my uh, dry shampoo, but I already did it. Sorry, I know. I'm disappointed too. So you just shake it into your head. You want to spray it on and then kind of let it set and then a few minutes later kind of shake it in. The next thing I'm doing is taking, this is actually a face mist uh, from Pixie. It's fabulous. However, I discovered it works really well as a detangler because it's basically water and oil. And so I sprayed that throughout my hair, particularly on my ends. And also having my hair slightly damp is going to help the curls set when I go to wrap it in a moment. So just kind of comb through that whole thing. And then what I like to do is sort of squinch up or fluff up the uh, roots otherwise it gets really flat and so now I'm taking my hairband and you can see it's got a really thin back section and I'm showing you like the light even moves through it so you put that on your head almost like you know like a hippie headband from the 70s and what I'm doing is grabbing small sections of the hair and wrapping it away from my face underneath the headband and this is super common I'm sure you guys have seen this method of heatless curls before I will say this method does work best on fine hair that is, uh, let's see, I'm taking my glasses off to make sure I get all those little, little, you know, sections around the ears. The, as I was saying, this works best on like medium length hair that's relatively fine. Um, very, very thick or stubborn hair or very long hair, this might be difficult to do. You can also try wrapping it in two different sections, sort of like one on top of the other. And perhaps I'll show you guys that at some point. That's how I get really, really super curly hair. Um, but this is a really great method for giving your hair a nice amount of textures so that an updo looks right because with an updo I feel like a lot of times when you just do them with straight hair, well it, de well, it totally depends on the updo, let me just say that, like I guess it really doesn't matter that much for certain updos, but for a lot of the updos that I like to do which are sort of um, delightfully messy or you know bohemianly untidy, <laughs> uh, you know they, the, the little bit of texture of the hair really helps it. So you can see I just wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap around. That's why having that really thin bit at the back is great because it makes it so that it tight, it, you know, curls the hair really tightly then in the back. So now I'm taking a bit of the Lay Right Grooming Spray, which is an excellent product. And I just spritz that around the outer perimeter of the hair. And this will be just wet enough to help the hair set. And then one other thing that I like to do <laughs> is to take a little rat tail comb and soften up the edges of the front because otherwise it can be a little too tight. It can either give me a headache and or it just will lay funny. So I just sort of comb a little bit of that out. And then I made my bed. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but I just started filming this without making my bed. So I was like, well, maybe I should do that. <laughs> so now I'm taking a hair dryer and just um, heating up the hair slightly. This is I still call these heatless curls because it's not the same as taking a curling iron or a flat iron or hot curlers or something to your hair because it's indirect heat. But yes, you are technically still using heat. Um, the main focus of this is just to dry the liquids that you sprayed on your hair um, and also just a little tiny bit of heat and then the cool down will help your hair, your hair maintain that shape. So that's that and then you let your hair cool. Once your hair is cool uh, and you feel like it's fully set, I just start taking it out and you really just unwind them. I do try to be mindful of how I unwind them. I'm usually a little bit more careful than this, but I knew that the curls were going to be tighter than I wanted the hair to ultimately be, so I knew it wasn't something where I wanted to be super delicate with it. I just really wanted it to have a bit of a wave so that when I go to roll it back, it has a nice look to it. Love this headband method. It works every single time. It's super curly. Like, damn. And you guys saw my hair was totally straight and this was only about an hour of it being rolled up. It's a pretty awesome method. So I kind of finger comb through the hair. Next I take a little bit of Lay Right Grooming uh, Pomade. I was mixing up the names of two products. It's a lightweight pomade um, that adds a lot of shine and also will weigh down the curls a little bit so they will straighten out. You can see it's already happening on that side. Um, it also, as I said, makes them shiny and a little more manageable. It's really great to put on the ends of my hair. Um, to make sure they don't look frizzy or anything. So I just work that through and do all that stuff. I even will put it a little bit into the roots to add some texture. And now I'm going to start working on rolling the front sections of the hair back. So this updo actually starts out sort of as like a half updo. You can kind of, depending on how much time you have, you know, you might end up leaving your hair down. 
one thing that's really important with this kind of thing is how you lay the hair back. So you guys see I fiddled with it a little bit before I went ahead and pinned it. And then I'm taking two bobby pins and crossing them so that they will actually anchor in and they won't move all night. So, or all day, whenever you're wearing this, whatever, I'm not here to judge. Uh, <laughs> doing the other side, very similar method. And then at the back, I kind of bring the two sections together, roll the bottom up, and then kind of twist it around in a very loose chignon. Uh, and then I take these little plastic clips, which are completely the bomb. They're for doing French twists, but I like securing all kinds of hairstyles with them. And I will just slip them in, secure the hair. Look at that. How easy was that? Now we're not quite done. You still want to fuss with it a little bit. You can see in the back it needs some finessing. So I took my brush uh, and just sort of combed that down to make it smooth. But then I also used the pick end to sort of bump some of the hair up to give it a little bit of volume and so that it has that sort of luxuriously messy <laughs> look to it. Um, so it looks soft, really. That's the goal here. And any kind of like volume that you can give yourself in the right spots. You may find little tendrils of hair that pop out. Sometimes you like them, sometimes you don't. So what I do is just grab them, twist them up, and put them in there with a bobby pin. I mean, it's really, it's really, truly that easy, guys. And that is the look. It's a very simple hairstyle, completely customizable to your hair length. Obviously, if your hair is much longer, you can twist it up a little differently so that it holds. Um, and then what I like to do as a finishing touch is just sort of pull it apart, deconstruct it a little bit. I like the way that it looks when it's a little bit messy. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be your own kind of beautiful. See you bye.